it in the crossfire Let's call it in the crossfire Hey guys, Ending Gaming here, and today we are starting a Multicraft tutorial series. Basically, if you guys have never heard of Multicraft, what it is is uh, Minecraft server hosting. Uh, basically, it's a uh, control panel that you it's install to your, to your computer. It starts as a service. Uh, it'll it'll open a, a tab in your uh, web browser, and then uh, you go all from there. So this is the server that I'm hosting right now. Um, this is what I'm on, and if I will show you the um, panel. So this is this is basically the panel, okay? So we've got the home here. We got you know all this stuff. Um, a bit over here, the service. Uh, this is the server that I'm on right now. So uh, a cool thing from here is you got chat. So what chat is is uh, basically we can go hi. And try that, and then if we go to here, uh, and it says to server admin, hi. Basically, uh, that's the server talking to you, but because uh, uh, the panel knows it, um, it's me, because uh, that's what it says. So uh, you can, any players to hit, you can kick them all, so you go kick. And basically, uh, you got kick from the server, um, uh, I'll refresh, as my server there, we log in. Okay, we're back here, so. Uh, let's go over to some other things. Now uh, we go back to the servers list. Uh, go over here, click it on the server, and we've got all the settings here. Okay. Um, basically, if we quickly just go to console, um, this is a console. Okay. So uh, as I said, we are just got kicked player console kicked and in the game MRT kicked for from the server basically you can tell it to kick uh, and give it a certain message but we didn't basically this is the this is my server running just here um well this is the, this is the server and uh it's really easy to use so um that's the console okay now of course you can run the console commands from there pretty easily uh next thing is players so this is basically uh, players that have been on your server um no idea what <laughs> the create player is, I have never actually used that. That's funny. Um, yeah, I've never used that. Uh, but uh, of course, we'll be going over more. Uh, we're gonna, we'll be going over way, I mean, way more, um, way more settings uh, in future episodes. But this is just so easy to do now. Uh, so we've got manage players. Um, we got me. Basically, this is this, this is the server that I'm on. This is me. So if we click on my name, now we have vault. So basically I can go here, I can go on. Okay, that's what we can go on. We can say we can say if we're banned, which not we're not gonna be banned. Uh, we can uh, say we wanna get a sell some do we want some what do we got? Awesome thing too, we can say we want about uh, 32 because we, we can give. Go to here, and I've got uh, basically it doesn't say anything, but just uh, now I've, I've got um, no, I don't think it's in my in, in, uh, in. Uh, basically. Um, then if we go and you know, we can teleport, um, we can teleport uh, me to an another player, um, but we're gonna save that to save it as an owner, and that's now it's an app says we're an owner, and it says player saved, so then we now we can go back. We can go back again. Back to the list of uh, features that we have on our server just here. So this is the main control panel of your multi-craft server. Basically, uh, status is um oh status went off. Can we get rid of that? Probably. I don't know. I'm, I'm not gonna bother. Uh, basically, uh, we can set this to uh, say we want a hundred player starts. Um, I now. I'm not changing that because uh, that's uh, something 50. Uh, that's something special that I can do. Uh, I'll tell you guys about that later. Basically, status. So online, we got one out of 50 players, and the PD is just uh, things that you guys don't need to worry about. Uh, IP is of course my IP. We got the port, and we got the mod that we're using. We cover of course we're using Spigot, and um, basically here you you, you got to put what the uh, the jar file is what it's going to be named. So if you, if you've named it uh, server, you know, we're gonna do that and uh, we're gonna that to server. 
Basically, mine's just, it's just called Spigot. So when I follow the server, I just put in Spigot and I click save. So I'm not going to change anything. But now, basically, next is our uh, files. So we have heaps of files here. We're going to config files. Um, basically, these are files that are like uh, uh, big files that are only in um, uh, mods and basically other things. Basically, we can go to the server settings. Uh, which is uh, really cool because um, basically it's uh, like a uh, quick GUI, um, not typing on your app. Um, basically, we can allow flying, we're not going to allow flying, we're not going to allow never, uh, difficulty is easy, it's not peaceful. Um, and what we do we just, and that's what's great, we can just go to save, and then save for us, and uh, complete file save. Uh, now of course uh, these are plugins. No, it tells you where the file is located. Um, basically, that's the main uh, Minecraft server. Um, that's in the main folder. Um, all of these are in plugins of essential, which is uh, uh, multi D configure items, um, plug uh, easy ranks. Um, I thought that's a uh, prison thing. I'll just like that. But uh, they're plugins now. Um, if we go back, uh, we got more files, so we can go local, f local, uh, local plugins. So now I'm pretty sure um, I haven't set this up just yet. Um, I'm pretty sure you, yeah, but basically this is what, uh, th th this shows you what plugins are installed in the server. Now you can basically um, uh, move them, uh, remove them from the, the server if you don't want them anymore. So you can just put Remove any of I'm gonna remove anything because I don't need to remove anything. But, um, but that's all in it. Now we can go back. Um, uh, I think I'm just bit lagging because I'm recording. Um, but I'll be down here again. Now you've got FTP access. Now, uh, of course the FTP actually works. Um, but you gotta select. Uh, server and you guys set this up properly. Uh, I'll be showing you how to, to set that up in a future episode. That's why I have an Okay, that's not that is just amazing. Let me just kill that says. Processes ah, let's just kill him. Yeah, so now I'm in the process. Ah, he's gone. Alright. So back to this. So basically I'll be showing you guys how to set up FTP in a later episode. But, um, back to this now, so, let me get back on, okay, so, if you click click back on to files, I'm ready a lot, so I don't know why, but we can go to, uh, setup, so, uh, another option here we have is, um, basically, if you want to, uh, uh restart your whole server without deleting the server, you can basically click that, and you can, uh, uh, you, you, you gotta put in your uh, Multicraft uh, uh, user, I mean your login password, but uh, I'm gonna do that somewhere. so uh, let's clean my plugins, uh, go back, uh, we can go to files again, and backup, so we got, so we, we got backups, so we got no backups in progress baby, basically, um, that showed me my FTP for some reason, I don't know why it's doing that, but um, we can go back again, and uh, so now, now we've got the advanced settings, so there's a uh, command, but basically these are permissions. So, uh, I guess is in uh, multi-D, so, um, these are like, uh, plugins that you could have, so, of course that's TP, that's only given to a moderator, uh, basically these are the commands, um, and these are what they are, they are called. Basically, most of these don't have, uh, commands, because they are both, uh, they are, your control panel, uh, uh, basically, um, there's your control panel, um, things in here, but you can add commands, so if you could create command, um, uh, basically, uh, my server was three, because it was a couple set up before, but I've deleted them, um, the name, we can give it a required wall, so I'm gonna go, uh, guest, um, uh, no, wait, make a new one, um, basically, you can create that. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna put it in just, uh, just for now. Um, but you can create you know, default commands. which we use uh, a default command that uh, gets launched uh, by default. And advanced, we got scheduled tasks. So um, 
Basically, you can schedule a task and some like, like uh, a backup. So we got a new task, uh, service three um, name, and we basically go. Oh, sorry, I don't want to say backup. Uh, this is a command, so we can make it uh, restart. So we can make it uh, restart at a certain time, and basically you can set <laughs> calendars. <laughs> Not very good, but that doesn't matter. Uh, you can basically set um, set what time, what day you want the server to restart. Um, basically, you can create multiple of them, and it'll uh, it'll go through every one and restart them as you date them. Um, so that's that. Well, we can go back again, and basically, uh, you can manage tasks. Basically, that means you can delete tasks and edit tasks and that. Um, I got no tasks set up just right now, so I was going to say no. I think we got kicked in there, we just refresh that. We can go back on there. <laughs> now, uh, suspend the server a bit. Oh, I can't finish it. So, we got users. Uh, this is a, uh, another important thing. Uh, this is FTP users. Um, so, right now, these two both don't have any access to anything. Um, but you can give them a wall, so you can give them. Uh, guest, user, moderator, super moderator, ad uh, and co-owner. Or you can give them uh, no access, uh, guest, user, moderator, super moderator, administrator, and co-owner. Uh, you can give them uh, whatever that, um, of course, uh, oops, what did I press that for? Users. And so access. Um, basically, you can give them access to what you want them to do, so they can make them only read the only file which means they can't delete them, and they can't edit them, they can only look at them. Okay, uh, full access uh, means I can edit, delete, uh, uh, put things in there, you know, all that stuff. No access basically means that they can't do anything, so they won't edit to join the FTP or anything like that. They don't either do that, that's how that's what we should get off. Um, next thing is startup uh, parameters. I have no idea how to say that. Um, that's nothing. I don't think you should worry about that now. That'll be coming to later episodes, but so. Uh, Advanced, uh, now I've got my SQL to the rest. So, uh, my SQL is a, a, a really, really important thing to have when you have a server. Um, we can create a database. Now, I'm pretty sure, uh, yeah, mine's not working for some reason. I don't I think it's because I don't have enough space left. Um, but, of course, if you create a database, uh, it helps with all the plugins you have installed to basically communicate to, to each other. Um, it really helps them communicate. Um, uh, I'll have to fix mine. Don't know why it does that. Uh, I think that's it because I'm running out of space on my computer that gets uh, on. But I've got to fix that later. Um, but that's the uh, MySQL. So, but that, that is uh, another uh, really important thing to have um, because, well, it helps you to run basically. And uh, that's an important thing to have. Um, I don't know why, but I keep thinking kits. Uh, okay, that's weird. There we go. So, suspend server. Basically, what happens is the server will shut down, and any ro any remote, uh, any people can't log into the uh, job panel or anything like that uh, uh, at all until the server is resumed. So, only the person, only an, an admin or an owner can resume with the server. Um, and that's if you don't want a guest owner to come in here and look at things and uh, and I said it will of course be, be shut down so you can't join it uh, and then like that um, but I'm not gonna worry about any of that uh, so d delete server um, now I'm not, I'm not gonna click that cause I don't want to delete the server I'm just this up but um, you click that and I think that will get rid of the, the server and you can create a new server and then uh, this can restart um, so that's that. Now, of course, you got your help here, so we got to so open that up. Um, that brings you to. Okay. <laughs> so this uh, opens the uh, tab and uh, comes through here, um, which gives you uh, heaps of help um, and everything like that on, on how to set up uh, other things and all that. Um, so that's that. That's the basic. Uh, Controls of uh, Multicraft. Um, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this first uh, little tutorial. Um, uh, there's more little things coming. Um, 
Basically, oh, I forgot to read yet. If you want to uh, get Multicraft, um, you go to multicraft.org and it brings you this page here. Now, I've got to do this, I'm really bad. <laughs> but, uh, I'm showing you some features of Multicraft. So, a simple installation is basically uh, where you have uh, Multicraft installed on the computer and you on the trait to the computer from there. And then you got the uh, uh, server and then you've got a uh, game so then you've got here which is what I have set up so I've got the computer a server uh, other people and then, uh, yeah, and then other things you know you, you get that now uh, a cloud installation is basically um uh, you have multiple and uh, multiple uh, servers and machines running the, uh, the one multicap which basically is as we go over here, that is a, uh, a something I call a dynamic uh, installation of Multicraft. Uh, basically, any uh, hosting company uh, who most uh, uses this, which uh, most people, most hosting companies do use this, uh, it's, it's uh, very, very good and very easy to use. Um, most of them, most hosting companies use uh, that. Basically, that's two ninety five a month. So um, when someone buys a server. Uh, from um, the hosting company, costs like um, they'll get money as well, but then they they have to pay the bills for Multicraft to get and all that key will be cancelled and they can't use it anymore. Now, of course, it it is a key. Um, if you guys want to have a little home run server with just for you and maybe a couple of friends, um, you got you can get the free one, which uh, doesn't require a, a license, and uh, that use called here. And you go down basically you gotta have a, to, you have to, to download that and then to get to use any of these but if you want to use it free you just get that and install and then you're done um basically you get uh one server one installation and only 10 player slots um <coughs> of course i'm not using the free version because then i can be doing bungee card here which of course it is playing soon um and then the price is cost it's free. So uh basically the next one is called oh so this is good for okay. game then if we just uh good for YouTube please uh friends and that basically that, that, that's good for you for them to use um basically uh this comes to don't know what this is but I think it's like um something something like that but um you got two uh, three and the uh, kids going up. Basically, I have a uh, I have a four one, which was uh, supplied from Multicraft um, uh, by them. Which uh, big thanks to Multicraft for supplying that um, that out for us uh, for the channel and for this to to uh, start these these tutorials. Um, big shout and big thanks to them for that. Um, but if you want fast, that was that only cost you fifteen ninety euro. Um, which is actually not too bad. Um, if you like me in Australia, um, that'll cost you about 20, 27, 20, uh, in the 20s, um, that'll cost you about, yeah, something, so, some range in, in the 20s, um, which is still pretty good, um, um, and I'm probably just thinking about that and anything like that. Basically, with this one, you get, um, four services, so I can make four different services. Um, so if you wanted to do like small bungee clone server, you could have four, which is a hub, which is basically more, uh, bungee clone, uh, a hub, and then two mini games. Um, and now, uh, per limit, you could have as many players as you want, which is what I have, which is how I have 50 players set to mine right now. Um, so that's, uh, that's all. Now, of course, uh, you can get like 10, 8 servers. And servers, uh, that'll probably be uh, pretty expensive in uh, in uh, in uh, Australian uh, money, but I can for the four servers, it's actually a pretty good deal. Um, I would uh, totally buy that, but I said this is uh, I can't buy that now because uh, I'm, I'm I'm not gonna tell you why, but I, I can't. Um, I'm gonna lose his age and uh, other things you have to worry about, but um. That's why I uh, 
Multicraft uh, happily supplied uh, Multicraft to me, uh, only for these, uh, only for the tutorials though. Um, but uh, I thank him a lot for uh, um, doing that. Um, I really do. Uh, I was uh, thankful for them doing that for me, and uh, thanks guys a lot. Uh, if you guys are watching this, uh, thanks for um, yeah, thanks for giving me uh, Multicraft and me do these tutorials and. Uh, yeah, I guess that, uh, that's it for today, guys. Uh, I, ho I hope you guys enjoyed this first little tutorial on uh, Help on M Multicraft. Um, if you guys have any questions, uh, just uh, put a put a thing in the uh, in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, also, I've got uh, a bunch of new videos uh, on a bunch of different games. Uh, I've got Skyrim. I've got some Need for Speed. Um, maybe CS:GO. Um, uh, maybe, m maybe Skyrim, uh, definitely, uh, Noob Steam, um, Noob Speed, that's why you saw Skyrim was installed by Steam <laughs> in the video, because I was getting it ready to start recording soon with that, uh, after this video. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you guys did like this video, please like it, and, uh, thanks for watching, and, uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode.